Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this weekly weather briefing presented by the National Weather Service Office in San Diego. A lot is going on in SoCal through the middle of this week. Monday through Wednesday, we can expect widespread rain, gusty winds over the land and water, low elevation snow, and elevated surf as the main concerns. After Wednesday, the main hazard is cold mornings and area of frost, and then you can expect a slow warming into the weekend. Periods of light rain today will become more widespread Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. There's a chance of thunderstorms Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. In areas of thunderstorms, you could see small hail and heavy rain. As far as rainfall forecasts go, in Orange County, the beaches, coast, and inland areas are expecting a tenth to three-tenths of an inch of rain. In San Diego County beaches and coastal areas, you can expect four-tenths to up to half an inch of rain. In the San Diego Valley areas, you can expect a half to three-quarters inches of rain, locally up to an inch in East County. And in the Inland Empire, the rainfall forecast is 0.15 to 0.35 inches of rain. In the mountains below 4,000 feet, the rainfall forecast is three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, locally up to two inches in Riverside and San Diego counties. Light snow is possible today with much, lo with much lower snow levels and periods of heavy snow Tuesday into Wednesday. Snow levels will bottom out around 2,000 feet late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Light snow is expected to accumulate in the high desert on portions of the Cajon Pass on Interstate 8 in San Diego County Mountains, through the Ortega Highway in the Santa Ana Mountains, and even potentially on I-10 through portions of the San Gorgonio Pass. Between 2 and 4,000 feet, 1 to 3 inches of snow is expected to accumulate. Between 4 and 6,000 feet, three to six inches of snow is expected to accumulate. Above 6,000 feet, you can expect six to 10 inches of snow, locally up to 16 inches. Gusty winds have already begun, especially through the passes. A peak wind gust report is headlined on our weather.gov webpage if you're interested to see what the most recent gusts have been. Moving forward, widespread wind gusts to 50 miles an hour are expected, with gusts to 70 miles an hour possible in wind-favored passes and along desert mountain slopes. In the high desert, expect gusts to 60 miles an hour. West of the mountains, it will also be breezy, and you can expect gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Over the coastal waters, west winds will peak at 30 knots. Wednesday will be the coldest day of the week when high temperatures will be 10 to 20 degrees below average. Those cold conditions will continue into Thursday morning when it will be cold enough for patchy frost to form in wind sheltered locations. While Thursday will be a few degrees warmer than Wednesday, lows on Friday morning will also be cold enough for patchy frost to develop. Starting on Thursday, there will be a gradual warming trend. This warming trend will continue into the weekend and then even into early next week when highs in the upper 70s to low 80s are expected by Monday. Here are the key takeaways. Rain, snow, and gusty winds are expected through Wednesday. Low elevation snow with light accumulations on the I-15 through the Cajon Pass I-10 in the San Gorgonio Pass, I-8 in the San Diego County Mountains, and on Ortega Highway in the Santa Ana Mountains. Use caution if driving. Driving conditions will be hazardous, especially in the mountains and foothills. Patchy frost is expected Thursday and Friday mornings, and a gradual warm-up is expected through the weekend. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at NWS San Diego or visit our weather.gov slash San Diego homepage for the latest forecast updates. Thanks for tuning in.